So I unfortunately made a big mistake. I had this battery right here. It's the only one I have from Porter Cable. This 20 volt. I got one of the old 18 volt drills. And I got a battery adapter and this goes in. And everything was fine. But I was messing around. And, and now when I put this brand new battery into my charger. It's like lights just constantly flash on the charger. Like it's saying bad battery. So I've taken it apart. And I don't have one to compare it by. But I think what the issue is is there's pretty much a fusible link that goes in between these two contacts because I've used the continuity and there's no continuity between these two but there is between this pin and that and if I check the voltage from this to that you know it's 20 volts like it should be so I think that one little tiny tiny missing spot of metal there is the reason why the battery isn't working but you know, lithium could be dangerous, so I don't want to just take a screwdriver and bridge across those two points and end up batteries catching on fire or something. So, because of that fact, and to be safe, I went to Tractor Supply, which apparently is the place to buy Porter Cable Tools now. And I bought this, because it comes with the same battery. You know, I could be an asshole and, like, just take this back and put in my old messed up battery and be like, Hey, this, this isn't working right. But I would rather take this brand new battery apart and, you know, see if that is what I think it's going to be. And maybe I can just put a solder blob between those two points and fix my previous battery or... If it needs, I don't know, kind of heavy duty wire. I don't have a battery spot welder. So I won't be able to do it properly. At least what I think it's going to look like. Good day. Trying to get this open. Alright. Apparently it comes with one of these little rinky dink chargers. So I got the old 18 volt drill and I got the new 20 volt, you know, that came with the other battery that was, that I've messed up apparently. I got a hammer drill for that. I have an impact driver. So now I'll finally own my first impact wrench, taking off lug nuts and stuff. Before I do anything, I want to take this battery apart see if my suspicion is correct and hopefully I'll repair my other battery I didn't get any kind of warranty with what I just bought the lady said I could spend twenty dollars and for I think it was one year and uh, you know if anything was wrong I could take it back no questions asked but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to fix the old battery and if not, it's just going to be a lesson learned, I guess, not to be fooling around. <laughs> Alright. Which is kind of sad that that's the kind of fuse. I mean, why does it have a legit fuse inside the battery? Why is it just a, a little piece of wire acting as a fuse? Because, I mean, this battery on the website... Is like $99 which is outrageous for one thing and that's kind of the reason I bought this impact because if you was to buy the battery for 99 and then the charger which I didn't need a charger especially not one of these kind but anyway I would imagine that would at least be 120 and it was a hundred and fifty five or 160 for this whole kit and I'll be able to rotate my own tires and everything now, so I think it works overall. So let's see what the verdict is. Is there a fusible link right there? Not blown apart? Wow, this is totally different. Wow. 
looks totally different. Huh. Well. That sucks. I was not expecting that. I looked everywhere on YouTube, on Google Images, just trying to find out, find one of these batteries right here, taken apart so I could compare it to the one that I have to see what it should look like. And these are just a totally different board. So maybe they noticed that there was some kind of problem with that fusible link crap and done away with it. Now instead of having this big track where you positively it's just, just a skinny little wire. Well it seems like this is like I would have to rotate it around. That still isn't the same. Like that's the main power wire it looks like. That's the main power wire for sure. That's the main negative for sure. And that's obviously the main negative. That can't be right. Well, I was not expecting this. Well, here goes nothing. I'm just going to short these two points together. If it blows up, I'll hurry up and throw it in something metal. Keep it from catching the house on fire. If it doesn't blow up, I'm just going to solder those two ends together. Because I'm pretty sure that's the case. That's what it needs. Here goes nothing. Okay. The two contacts are bridged and it didn't blow up. So, I guess, just what I'm, the purpose of this video is because I couldn't find out one of these videos, I mean one of these uh, batteries taken apart on the internet to see what it's supposed to look like. If you ever, I don't know how, if I can get this in focus. Alright, come on. Apparently not. Well, anyway, you can kind of see right there. At least I can see that if I can get it just right in the light. Anyway, it looks like a burnt spot there and a burnt spot there. And, it, you know, obviously something would have connected the two points. Like a little tiny thin piece of metal. Not all the way up and down the whole thing. Just at the very little tip right here. And apparently just that little bit is what made like pretty much acted as a fusible link and it's been blown so I'm gonna join these two contacts together and it should fix the problem we'll see alright so I just took a little piece of copper and man this camera don't seem to focus very well and soldered it across the two Nothing blew up, no sparks, no heat, so I guess I'm going to bolt this back together and give it a shot. Here goes nothing. First time testing the battery and first time testing this tool. Oh yes. Perfect. My battery is repaired. So I guess the lesson is, well, I'm just glad I can help the community, I guess, because I looked and looked and looked for a picture of that battery opened up and could find nothing to compare my battery to. So at least that's out there. And I guess I just put out some new information that these two batteries are completely different, even though I just bought them two months apart. The date code is 2021 year on both of these. I don't, let's see, I'm looking, I'm keep forgetting to look through the camera. I don't know if you can see that. It don't look like it, but anyway, both of them say 2021. One of them says 24, which I'll have to guess is the month, I mean the uh, week, 24th week, and this is the 38th week. The 38th week is the brand new style. Looks completely different. Maybe they realized there was an issue. But awesome, now I have everything back to normal. Well, thank you for watching.